Geek the Nights, what's poppin'? It's Adonis. We are back for another Boruto reaction. Today's episode 137. Let's go. So if you want to stay geeked, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next one. Now, as usual, go ahead and smash that like button. If you guys want to catch this unedited link in the description box for the Patreon. Other than that, guys, the last arc, that filler arc just ended. Very cool arc, man. Um, definitely probably one of the best filler arcs I've seen. Uh, just as a filler arc in general, I thought it was really cool. It tied nostalgia back with what's going on currently. And I really feel the Boruto manga or the Boruto anime should have started with that arc. I think it would have made way more sense to start with this time travel arc. Um, have him be there, the fisherman guy or whatever, and then have Momoshiki and this other motherfucker show up kind of like, hey, we sent this dude to do X, Y, and Z. He's no longer here. What the fuck's going on? I'm about to take these motherfuckers out. You know what I'm saying? On some revenge type shit. Um, would have made way more sense to me. Um, and also at the same time would have grabbed people that were into Naruto into the series. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Anyways, I digress. Let's get into episode 30, 137, your boy. Let's give her a proper send off. Proper. I can tell this slice of life episode is going to be a tad bit on the boring side. I can feel it already. I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it. The land of iron. <laughs> Looks like we got a troublemaker on our side. Hmm. He's like a non shinobi. Is how this is interesting, bro. So what, motherfuckers? I'm be on the discriminatory vibes. Yeah. Not this, bro. See, this is the interesting part because it doesn't seem like this is kind of low key out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? Like, the whole ego vibes does not seem like a girl's thing. Like, girls have egos, yes, but, like, this is, like, what guys would do. You know what I'm saying? Like, guys would be like, oh, whose dick is bigger? That's that's what the energy I'm feeling right now, and it's kind of like, it, it seems like they're trying to force this issue. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Bruh. Yo, this is crazy. She was like, oh, yeah, you're about to die. Let's not do this. <laughs> that was tight, though. Hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> Uh, did you just refuse my friendship fries? <clears throat> I 
Yep. That's the bingo book. Fuck, bruh. Ooh. So they're going to go on this mission. They're going to get fucked up. Samurai bitch is going to come. She going to get fucked up. They're going to have to work as a team to get out of the situation. Here we go. And level up. So they running after this dude, and this dude just walking. <laughs> he was across the street. Okay, they're they're in the woods. He's gonna be like, "What the hell y'all doing, little girls?" <laughs> yep, she's fast. She got that one fucking solar beam shit, right? That's that chick. She crying fucking, right? Huh. <laughs> That's just the hell. I mean, that's just the fucking case, bro. She ain't fucking unsheathed that shit yet, bro. Oh. Bro, she's tight, bro. What the fuck? Said, nigga, take cover. Once I unsheathe this hoe, it's a wrap. Nut bust. Huh. Huh. Don't overdo it. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. Don't fuck this up, Jack. It was a cool episode. Uh, it was tad, tad boring. Uh, What's her name? The new samurai chick. Samurai Jack. Um, She's cool. She's cool. Character design is, eh, you know, her, her character itself is very bland. I felt like it was very uninspired, though. Like, oh, well, I saw her get back up and protect her friend. And now I'm like, oh, I think I like, like, what? I thought it was a very weak motivation to all of a sudden change her perspective. She was getting her ass beat. She said that they're unpolished, yet because she got back up and was like, you know, this is my ninja way, she's like, oh, well, you're polished all of a sudden. Like, I just feel like it was a little weak as like uh, as a means to change her perspective. Um, but, you know, poor writing is poor writing. I feel like ultimately this character is going to play some kind of role hopefully instead of just being like a new team member just because she's there now like i hope that uh is it samire or whatever her name is goes over and does something in this other village with this whole like technology shit whatever she's doing with that and then you know i think that's what she's doing right let me know if i got that incorrect um i hope that pans out that plays out with something the samurai chick, does she, does it play out for something? Or is it just, oh, now we have a new person with a sword? You know what I'm saying? Like, I just hope that it's something that pays off somewhere, not just a filler character to have another character. You know what I mean? Um, so with that being said, episode was cool. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. If you guys want to catch this unedited, link in the description box for the Patreon. And yeah, if you guys want to catch the last video that I did for Boruto, link will be right here to the side. All right, guys, till next time.
Stay geeked.